Good morning. Um, this is just a quick video tutorial or a quick video to show um, how I achieved this effect. I'm fairly new to 3D Vista, so it took me probably a whole day to figure this out, so I figured I'd just share it with some people. Some people this may seem really um, elementary, but if you're fairly new, this might be really helpful for you. So, um, so I got a question on how I achieved this. This. So first of all, I'm not going to talk about how I did my uh, skin. Um, which is just your basic skin, which has a couple of buttons down here. Um, but this is just my basic um, uh, tour with some, you know, hot buttons and things like this. So that's not what this is about. The question came up about how I created these two buttons down here and how what they do. So when you click on this button, um, it brings up a slideshow of the still images that I've created for this project which is pretty easy to achieve. You can just create a, a, a link to a pop-up media. Um, but I also wanted to be able to create a downloadable um, zip file and PDF so that my clients can just download the files themselves. I don't have to send them any external things. Um, so with the regular uh, link to uh, the pop-up media, you really can't include um, these extra things. So you have to create a uh, another in here on your skin. You actually have to create a new skin. I did not understand this. I did not know how to do this. So that's why I'm just going to show this again. This may seem really simple and rudimentary to uh, experienced users, but maybe some people that are newer might not quite get this. So basically instead of having a link to a pop-up media with, with the action here, I'm linking it to a skin element that I created, which is um, these two different ones. This one's called rendering and this one's called design plans. I'm just going to focus on this one right here. Um, and so you can see you can turn it on or off, and I'm going to show you how I made it. I just came up here and added a new viewer, clicked into here, created the new viewer, and you can see down here it creates a new viewer, and I'm just going to rename that to test just so you can see, and then I can turn that on or off. So that creates a, a new, basically a new skin where you can then create um, other elements in there. So you can drag and drop um, different things into there. So I'm not going to do all that right now. I just wanted to show you how I did that. I'm going to show you the one that I created here, which is design plans here. So basically this was actually, actually I'll go back real quick. I ended up using this, which is a sets, and I went over here and I chose a, because I wanted this, I wanted the slideshow in there, and I'm not advanced enough yet to create a whole, a whole uh, uh, screen thing there, so I went ahead and just went in and found a photo album there, and then I picked one of these templates, and this is the one I chose, and then I was able to just uh, edit it myself here. So you can see I just changed the color up here and added my own. Uh, I'm not going to get into exactly how to do all this right now. I just wanted to show this is how you do it. It's pretty simple. And then once you have this in here, this is your design plan. If you kind of toggle this down, you come down to this is the main thing that you just uh, imported. And then it has all these different um, different things inside of it. So the photo album one, if you see here is, let's see, this one here. So um, this is the, you can rename this. Um, so I named it viewer design plan, design plans. So, um, so that actually is going to be um, where you point your photo album to. So I'm going to pop over here. Sorry if this seems a little confusing, but I think it might help a little bit. So you come here, I've got my photo, photo viewer design plans, and I'm going to come over here and um, let's see where that is, title, oh I'm sorry, actually let me go back to the skin, I apologize. So this, um, if you go back into, where was I, design plans, toggle this down. Global. Did this a few days ago, so I've already sort of forgotten how to do it. 
Okay, so you just come down here and add action. Add the action. And then you're going to say open album. And then you're going to click that. It's already in there, so I'm not going to do that. And then that's going to create open album Wolverine design plans. So that's the, that's the open album. So that's all you have to do for that. Um, so I hope that makes sense so far. I'm sorry, I know it's a bit confusing, but if you watch this a couple times, maybe it'll make more sense. Um, so if you, I'm going to go ahead and toggle, I'm going to leave this on so you can see what happens if you preview it. It's going to show up. I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit preview so you can see kind of what, what happens here. So got to give it a second. Take a sip of coffee while this is going. Okay, so once this pops up, oh, it's redoing all of my stuff. Sorry about that. Give it a second. Okay. So if you don't hide the thing, if you don't push the little I button, this is going to show up initially, and you don't really want that. So I'm going to shut that. But So now click on that, and now that pops up with these other links. I didn't get into creating these other links and such, but um, I just wanted to give you an overview of how I created this, this effect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this and show you a couple more things. So first of, first of all, you want to go ahead and, and to toggle that off before you publish it or preview it so that it, uh, it looks correct. So the first step is that, um, that I have to take this button and actually now link it to that. I already had it linked, so that's why it was working. But um, you need to actually take the button that you created on your main skin and now add the action to show the component, which is, I'm going to click on that, show the component. Um, and see, I've got that, it's renderings, that's the component that is up here called renderings. So I'm having it show it. But if you also notice when I clicked on that, it also hid all the background because I didn't want the distraction of the background on there. So I also added an action called hide component and if you double click on that you can see that I'm hiding the rest of it. So that's how I did that. So I'm going to go back and preview this and show you what I'm talking about. So now you can see that, so I've got this and the, 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 the uh, tour starts or the virtual reality starts here and then you click on view images. So that was the show component. So that's this whole thing. It shows it. Um, and it also blacked out the background. So the only other thing I need to do now is to make this X actually close it and then re-reveal -re the background. Because right now, I have it, I have that already done. So what happens when I click on this is now it, re it, hi it reveals this and hides that. I'll show you how I did that. Close this real quick. So now what I need to do is turn back on renderings click on this little thing right here, the little X, and add the action. So the action is going to basically be similar to what we just did, except for this time we're going to say show components and we're going to show the main viewer, the global, whatever whatever you want on your main, but not these other things. So that's that test one we created earlier. So, and then the hide would be, you're going to hide renderings, which is this box. So once you've done that, it should all be working properly. So now you've got, um, oh, I forgot to hide it, so that's what that's doing that. So you gotta make sure and go back in and, and hide that, and then preview. So the way I was doing this previously, I'll show you, which was working fine, but the reason why I had to add this, add the skin and do it this way, and remember I created, I used a template, but you could do it from scratch too, but the template worked because it had the little play and video slideshow and all that in, embedded in it, so I liked that. But um, the way I was doing it before was instead of opening, showing component and hiding component, I just added an action and I said, um, 
pop-up media and then I should pop up album and I'll show you what this looks like which is fine if you don't want to add the downloadable links or anything else to it but I wanted to be able to add the downloadable links so I'll just show you so this would be this select done I'm gonna get rid of these two and then I'm gonna preview this so you can see what that looks like I'm going to show you one more thing, which is how I created the, the download links, just in case you don't know how to do that, too. But see, now if you come here and you clicked on this, oops, well, I wonder why that's not doing that. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, well, I'm not going to go into that too much more right now, but um, so I'm going to pop over here, too. So this is basically the same thing, but now this is... Um, this skin is for just a different, um, this is for design plans, which is another, just another the zigzag same thing. But I'll show you this real quick just because I want to show you the this. So all I did was add a, an icon in, just like I had created this myself, but you can add an icon in or a button or anything like that. And I just added the action downloadable file, which is super easy. You just come in here and you see downloadable file. When you click on that, it um, allows you to pick your file. You can do a zip file, you can pick a PDF. Um, if you want to do all the images, you need to do a zip file, but this is a PDF look icon, so I went ahead and did that. And that's how I created that within this skin. So let me try one more thing real quick, just because I want, okay, remember to turn this off before you publish. I just want to see, show, let me close that. Add action, pop up media, pop up album, renderings, select, done, preview. Sorry, that's bugging me. I just want to be able to show you that real quick. Let's see if it works. Okay, there we go. So this is what I was doing before, which was nice, but you can see there's no there's no way to sort of edit this. I spent all day trying to figure out how I can add um, a downloadable button on here and then I realized that I couldn't so I had to figure out I had to finally learn how to use those skins and how to and that's actually really cool because I can see lots of other applications that I can use those um, this is the, these sort of pop-up um, windows within the window so now that I learned that I can see a ton more things so I hope this is helpful for you um, especially some of the newer people and uh, okay thanks bye